finish it. It's uh, what, what was the title of it? Loose sand. Yeah. Loose sand. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's a motorcycle video. So those of you who like motorcycles, tune in for that one. Okay, we're ready to roll it on to the tapes. So uh, we're up next with the title of your next film. This one is called One Last Chance. One Last Chance about nuclear holocaust and <laughs> the aftermath, if you can believe it. Uh, maybe, I guess the thing to keep in mind is the movie Tremors, and you'll get a lot of uh, ideas from that one. All right, a real low B-budget film. <laughs> Scott says, wrap it up. Roll tape, dealies. We'll be right back, folks. Mr. President, uh, what actions do you plan to take against the United States? Rick Newcomb! Oh, God! What's the radiation like? It's down, but I'm still not sure if it's safe or not. Oh my. I'm not going back in that hole. I know. Down. We've been in there about three months already. <laughs> That's for sure. Three months, three days, two hours. Exactly. It's not that I have a counter. Dang, it's a disaster out here. Think anyone else is around? I don't think so. Yeah, the Surgeon General warned you about regular bombs. <laughs> Come on, stop fooling around. We're gonna get fired for this before it gets too dark. Okay. Oh, okay. What's it say? Well, from what I figure out, we're supposed to head north up by the old fishing pond. Fish! 
fishing. Yahoo! I haven't been in so long. We ain't going fishing. All the fish are probably dead. Come on, let's go. Map ends here, but there's nothing. Let's see it. What's that over there? Where? Over there. You see it? Hey, it looks like something's over there. Let's go check it out. Oh. Oh. Okay. Potion is he talking about? I have no idea. All we got was that map, and that map not the potion. It's here. about time you're finally here. Do you have the potion? What potion are you talking about? They told us you were coming last night. They told me to give you this. Let me see this. Look, it's the rest of the map. That must be where the potion is. We'll be back. I promise. I don't know about you guys, but this radiation is getting to me. I was like, I don't want to sit down. I know what's wrong. I have something to help him. I'll be back. Who are you? Oh, Doctor Jabonko. I found it on drugs. Thank you. Here, make him drink this.
Well, folks, there you have it. Uh, sorry about the last one. I didn't quite get the sound mixed in with it yet. That was a Super 8 that was transferred on the videotape. That's why the flickering effect. Uh, but at any rate, that was by Scott Simmons and Dave Terlizzi. And that about does it for this evening, Doug. Yes. Let's hit some of these plugs. We have a few final things we'd like to share with our audience. We are way over time, but hey, you know, there's nobody following us, so uh, don't <laughs> tune out and turn to the Olympics just yet. I want to get home and see them as well. First of all, a special thanks this evening to the Fraternal Order of Police, Worcester County Lodge No. 50, Berlin Middle School PTA, and Jim Carl at the Do All Service Company for underwriting tonight's live broadcast with a generous donation. We really couldn't do it without them, and we certainly could use as many of you out there as would are possible to send us a donation. It doesn't matter. You decide how much you think you can afford to send in. We really do need your help. Uh, we're waiting on a camera repair. We need some new microphones. We had just tonight I had to run out and buy new batteries for the microphones. Uh, we need your donations, so please do send them in. And if you'd like to become a part of our team, send your donations to Channel 10 in care of Stephen Decatur High School, 9913 Seahawk Road. You'll hear it tomorrow night again on the basketball game, and we'll even put it on screen so you can copy it down if you wish. Doug, you're the next one. Okay, um, coming up in the future here at Channel 10, students such as myself from Stephen Decatur Commission Art class will be producing their very own television teen soap opera. The title of the show, as we said earlier, is area code 410. The show will run as many episodes as we can produce throughout the rest of the school year. Uh, area code 410 deals with many teen-related issues, such as illegal drug uses, as well as other topics that high school students see as important issues. The scripting, directing, technical work, and acting are all being done by students. The first episode is almost complete, and we'll let you know when it will air. Okay, the next item is uh, you've seen some short spots already coming across on uh, various other channels on your cable network. And that is the close of the 92 school year is rapidly coming to an end. Sorry, the, the 92 school year is co rapidly coming to an end, but Channel 10 doesn't stop there. This summer, tune in to us for OC Live, a new broadcast putting up being put on by students in the Communication Arts Department and graduate students John Chester and Steve Dekos. Look for all kinds of summer events and news, such as local feature stories written and televised, so you can keep up with local events. A surf report consisting of surf conditions and contest dates, man on the street interviews, vacation survival tips, and much, much more. So make sure you turn into OC Live, a weekly show presented by United Cable and Channel 10, starting in late June. Okay, uh, tomorrow night is the last home game for what has been an outstanding basketball season for the Seahawks. We'd like to invite all our viewers to come out to the game because the team needs your support more than than ever as they approach the playoffs. If you can't make it to the game, tune in right here at 6 o'clock for all the action. But we do encourage you to come out to the game. Yeah. Doug, go ahead and mention Scott Simmons, okay. and then I'll wrap it up with the other. Uh, Scott Simmons, a student here at Stephen Decatur, uh, has produced Storm of 92, which is a videotape which follows the, the nor'easter, which we just had, uh, with the effects it had on acetic. In fact, it's an interesting film. It's, uh, he filmed the day before the storm hit. He, filmed, he and his father filmed the day of the storm right on Assateague. In fact, uh, I think Scott said he had a wave breaking over the hood of the truck. <laughs> uh, and they had to get out of there before they got swept away. But uh, some really dramatic footage that they took to the uh, lion's den the other night. And uh, uh, he ordered 20 copies. He sold 20 copies the first night. Uh, if you'd like to order copies of this, uh, they can be picked up at the Estee State Park, and the cost for picking up is $12. Or you can mail order, or, or by calling in here, uh, the number is 641-1002, and the cost for mail-in order is $15 due to shipping and handling. Right. We will mail them out if uh, you call in with 641-1002. We'll take your orders, and we'll have some other copies available. And then finally... Uh, 1992 is just about over as far as the school year goes, and we are putting together the final touches on the video yearbook, 1992 video yearbook. Two solid hours of all the action and all the events that took place this year at Stephen Decatur High School. Uh, we certainly think that uh, it's a, it's a long-term investment because it's, you know, while you should buy a regular yearbook, uh, the video yearbook keeps the things moving. 
And you can imagine years from now, whenever you look back at those videos and see all the action of the cheerleaders and, and uh, the basketball games, we have a sports section, we have uh, all the highlights from homecoming and all the excitement. So uh, make sure you uh, send in to 9913 Seahawk Road and reserve your copy of Video Yearbook. Uh, past, I believe, what will we say, uh, past May 15th, we will stop orders uh, because we need to know have, to have to know how many we're going to order. And the cost of those is $20 for two hours worth of video yearbook uh, sponsored uh, by the yearbook at school and also put together by Kirk Fostich, Brian Bauer uh, exclusively. In fact, they are uh, the ones who did the You Can Call Me Out. Well, folks, we appreciate your tuning in tonight. Uh, we're going to give you a little snippet just before we go of video yearbook so you get a chance to see what the thing is going to be like. Uh, the first half of it is already done because half the year is already done. And we'll be uh, right back to say good night. Well, folks, that's the, uh, we've got a little bit of feedback on Let that. Audio down. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody <laughs> wants to hear what's going on at Royal C. Uh, again, thanks again for tuning in tonight, folks. Uh, we're sorry we've run over time, but uh, we had fun. Hope you did. We can't believe we filled up almost an hour <laughs> and a half of time. Uh, I'm Terry Sterner. And I'm Doug Gordon. And we're out of here, folks. Good night. along with Cindy Bunning and welcome to OC Live. This week we'll be talking, or actually we'll be seeing Reggie Mason get his legs whacked. No, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Reggie will be visi well, visiting a wax museum. It sounded better that way. Okay, also, and in addition, Laura Dealey with the Surf Report, she'll explain how man evolves from dolphins, so you won't want to miss that. And I have to make a comment on how I'm pretty impressed that John's wearing socks this week. Uh, did your mom help you put those on, John? Uh, Cindy, actually, uh, the Phillips North crew, 142nd Street, <laughs> They all chipped in and got me a pair of nifty white socks, and they are quite zany. Also, we'll be talking with, oh, actually, I'm sorry, I'm presenting this the wrong way. This is Boardwalk Personality Day on OC Live. We'll be talking with Roy Beckett, who stands on his head and plays a gazoo, 
but of course I don't think he'll be standing on his head. And a little boardwalk, Elvis, he'll be singing Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog. Stick around, there's a lot more to come. Here on OC Live. Welcome to OC Live. What's up with the latest news? Well, a lot more, Cindy. The number of building permits in Ocean City has risen this year, but the value of the permits is down. This is primarily due to what the officials are calling a tight market. A Chicoteague pony was infected with anemia, almost caused the cancellation of the entire annual pony swim last week. Officials were afraid that due to the biting insects on the coast, other ponies might also be infected. However, tests done on the ponies all came up negative. Ocean City Mayor Fish Powell declared July 1st Seatbelt and Occupant Protection Day. Drivers are urged to buckle up and drive down to the birthday celebration in the inlet parking lot. This celebrates Maryland's six-year-old seatbelt law, and that's July 1st in the inlet parking lot. Maryland residents who may have had the temptation, excuse me, Maryland residents who may have the temptation to stock up on cigarettes in Delaware to avoid Maryland's 20 cents a pack tax increase are reminded it's illegal to purchase more than two packs at a time out of state. And in other news, this is quite interesting, marriage becomes more expensive. Now, guys, you got an excuse. Beginning July 1st, the Worcester County marriage license will go from $25 to $35. And now, that is, if any reason, a good reason not to get married for the $10 increase. Cindy. Well, I hate to break it to you, John, but there's no more Reggie's Corner. <gasps> Did we fire him? No. He's now roving Reggie the reporter. <laughs> <laughs> and this week he's going to take us to the Wax Museum in Ocean City, so, uh... Buckle down. Reggie. Come with me. Hi, this is Reg Mason, and welcome to Reg's Corner this week. If something looks different, yes, I'm not in a suit, and I'm not interviewing anyone. But now Reg's Corner is going to be a little bit different. Now we're going to rove all over Ocean City and find some interesting things, interesting places. And I've been doing this for for probably five minutes, and I've already seen Elvis. So come with me. We're going to take a tour today through the Ocean City Wax Museum so we can see all the famous places, people. Just come along. Come on. Okay, the first uh, person we're going to meet here is Miss Linda Ronstadt. And I have a question. Um, Linda, um, where's uh, Aaron Neville? 